This video is going to explain how to fix the problem when you have a Toshiba laptop and you keep getting a message that your Wi-Fi is not working, that your radio is off, that the Wi-Fi technology is not on, and that the radio is off. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. If my videos help you, please do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like. If you'd like to leave a donation, ask me for my PayPal info, and I will get you uh, that information. So let me show you what the problem is. You're going to be seeing this a lot. If you click on your Open Network Sharing Center, you're going to see that there is, there are no connections for Wi-Fi at all. And you're going to have the big X you see the red X, you're going to have that on your screen. Right on the front of the laptop you can see the Wi-Fi signal and there should be a light right in front that shows that you have a Wi-Fi connection but that light is not going to come on. Look down at the icons over here and you can see how it says hardware radio switch off so let me click on that so you can see that again Let me click on that so you can see that. We're going to open up Intel, My Wi-Fi Utility. You can see over at the top how it shows Wi-Fi on, but we know that Wi-Fi is not on. And you can't click to turn Wi-Fi off. And down at the bottom, you see those messages? You cannot, it shows that it's disabled and that's what the problem is. The radio part is disabled. Now let me show you another thing that you're going to see. To turn on the Wi-Fi you would click the function key and then you would go over here and you would click the F8 key. You see F8 where it has the drawing for that Wi-Fi signal. So I'm going to click on function and then I'm going to do F8 and I don't know if you'll be able to see what it's going to show no you won't so I'm gonna put the camera towards the screen first thing is when you click the function key this comes up and you see wireless over there and then I'm gonna click F8 and we're gonna get something that's gonna pop up really quick see the message over there it's off that's the problem it's off it says your radio is, dis is disabled now I'm gonna show you how to fix that and when we are finished you're going to see that the wireless is on and that the light at the front of the laptop that I showed you was not lit, that is going to be on. Now, this could be caused because of some driver problems. I'm going to show you how to turn the radio back on. Once we turn it on, if things work out properly, we'll be able to do the F8 and turn it on and off. And if things don't work out properly, at least we will be able to turn the Wi-Fi radio on so that you can use your Wi-Fi and I'll show you how to turn it on and off again if you need to and this fix doesn't work a hundred percent. So what you need to do is you're gonna take your mouse and you're gonna go down to the bottom of the screen where the start button is. The way to do that is you can press this key over here and when we press that I'm gonna show you the screen. This pops up or the other way that you can do that is you can take the mouse and move it down and click on your start button once you do that you're going to want to go over to where it says computer you're going to left click with your mouse on computer and another box is going to pop up that box is going to be your My Computer settings, which is going to be your hard drives and your DVD drives and any external uh, connections that you have. So you're going to take the mouse and once again we're going to left click it. We're going to go over to Drive C and you might have to click it once or twice but another menu is going to come up once we click Drive C. 
In my case, I'm going to have to click it twice. And now we have a new menu. You can see over here, Drive C, and we've got this menu. And we're going to click on the first program files. If you have uh, a 64-bit machine, you might have both of these, but we're just going to click on program files with the left mouse, and another box is going to come up. So I'm going to click that twice. And now, with this new box, let's look over at the top. You see how we have Drive C program files? Now we're going to go look down for Toshiba, because this is a Toshiba laptop. And there's a very good chance this will work on other models. Just look for the name of the company that makes your laptop. So we've got Toshiba. We're going to click with the left mouse button twice. And let's look what we have there. We've got Drive C. And we have program files in Toshiba. So now we're going to go scrolling down. And what are we going to look for? We're going to look for a folder that is called TBS. And we're going to double click on that folder. You can see Drive C program files, Toshiba TBS. Now, when I do this, it's going to change really uh, quick, so I might have to show you this a couple times so that you can actually see the change that takes place. But we are going to look for a file in here that is called right over there TBS Wireless. Now I'm going to click on this, and it's going to make a change. And I believe the change is going to be at the top of the screen, so let's see what it does. I'm going to click twice. And there we go. I'm going to have to do this again so you can see it, because it's very quick. It turned it on. Where are we? So I'm going to click right now. And we there it is, on. That's turning the radio on. When I click it again, off. When I click it again, on. When I click it again, off. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to show you the front of the laptop. That light that I told you was off before, it's still off. We click it, now the light is on. We click it again, the light is off. We click it again, the light is on, and on the screen it shows that the radio is on. We click it again, it's off. If I can show that to you a couple more times, uh, off, on, off, on. So we've got it on, and now what I want to do is zoom down over here. You see that? Radio switch is on. I'm going to click it again. Radio switch is off. So that's the problem that we're trying to correct, is the radio switch off. We'll click it one more time. Radio switch on. And to prove that this did work, we're going to take the mouse and go down to the corner over here. And, I, whoa, there we go. We don't have that X anymore. Remember we had that X before? The X is gone. The X is gone, and you can see that now we have access. I don't have a uh, Ethernet cable connected. This is strictly Wi-Fi. So you can see I now have bars for my Wi-Fi signal. I have a name that shows that I have a connection. And let's try one more thing. I'm going to click on this. And now we have connections. We have internet sharing. We have connections for other available Wi-Fi connections in the neighborhood. So that is how you fix your radio off problem. Again, please do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like. If you want to help me out and you want to leave a donation for the tech support, please ask for the PayPal info. I'd be more than happy to give it to you. And if you don't want to, at least this will help a lot of people fix their computer because there is really not a lot of information on the Internet on how to, how to take care of this one problem. Good luck, everybody.